And so are hundreds of people from the Tri-State. Everyone from volunteers to church members to first responders. That's right. Our Evan Millward has been checking in with them all day long to get the very latest. He joins us live right now in the control room with the work our neighbors are currently doing. Evan? Yeah, Craig, Tanya, we know many of them are taking our donations down there. And we've got crews there searching, cleaning up, helping rebuild. But there are also Tri-Staters there helping the helpers. This Getty Images photo from Mayfield is going viral now. A church missing most of its roof, but the Bibles and hymnals are untouched in the pews. Walked in there, walked in there yesterday, and the uh, the uh, choir, uh, the microphones for the choir are still hanging. It just really gives you an awe of Mother Nature and, and, and Mother Nature's power. Covington Police Lieutenant Brian Bogart talks to me on his drive home after three days in Mayfield. I, I've seen tornadoes. I've seen the pictures on Saturday. I got there Sunday morning. We went downtown and, and I wasn't prepared for it. He was there with Fraternal Order of Police members from our area and around the country. They're helping the helpers, helping police departments move records to safety from crumbling courthouses and making sure first responders get warm meals from their mobile cooking trailers. We're feeding probably between 250 and 300 persons per meal. Not far away, search and rescue experts from Ohio and Indiana continue their work in Dawson Springs. Photographing the power of the storm, this branch shot through a tire. Indiana's crew met Ohio's after finishing work at the Mayfield Candle Factory. The hands that are helping are our many. Charities like Matthew 25 Ministries and the American Red Cross get updates from their crews only sometimes. Cell service is still spotty. That's not a problem here at home. Our phone's been ringing off the hook. Our, our donation door has been um, lined up to the, to the street, basically. Lieutenant Bogart may be on his way back now, but knows the work will continue long after. You know, I hope that things happen next week and the week after. And they're already setting up food donations for next week and the week after. Like so many people, it is personal for Lieutenant Bogart. Much of his family is actually along the Tennessee-Kentucky line down that way. They're safe but at least one did lose their home. If you want to help the FOP feed the first responders, he tells me you can donate through the Fraternal Order of Police Foundation's website, Tanya.